Update us on what happened. You got it. All right, good. Going to slide over here to Jeff Mays from DNA Info. Haven't seen in a while. Yeah. But uh, you reported something this week. Developments Um, with the Puerto Rican Day Parade, the National Puerto Rican Day Parade, an iconic event here in the city. But the Attorney General took a closer look at it. What did he do this week? Well, after an eight-month investigation, uh, Attorney General Eric Schneiderman discovered that a marketing agent for the parade um, had basically taken $1 million for his own personal use, including things like airline vouchers and underreporting to the parade officials how much money he had actually raised on their behalf. So, for example, an uh, academic institution donated $75,000, but this marketing agent, Carlos Velasquez of Gallows Corp., told the board that he only received $20,000. Okay, so I know you said that he had no comment. He's going to have to pay $100,000 back? Yes, right? he's going to have to pay $100,000 back to the, bro- the board, and he also has to cancel a million-dollar debt, which the attorney general said really wasn't a real debt to begin with. A couple of things, Jeff. You reported this week that this was really triggered or got the attention of the Attorney General, based on an ad that many may remember last week to market the parade. Tell yeah, me about absolutely. it. Absolutely. Last year, last year, in, in yeah. May, last year's parade, um, Miller Coors uh, came up with an ad campaign to kind of put what looked like a Puerto Rican flag around a beer can. Okay. That set off a firestorm in the community. Activists were upset. They thought that was a denigration of the Puerto Rican flag. Uh, Miller Coors responded by saying, look, we give millions of dollars in scholarships to the parade. That got the attention of the Attorney General, who said, tell me about this money. We're Where's it at? We would like to see where it's going and where it's coming from. Right, nonprofits coming under the purview of the attorney general's scrutiny. And finally, he said he's replaced an, or he's forced the replacement of a number of members of the board. He said those prior members, not accused of any criminal wrongdoing, but a horrible lack of yeah. oversight. Yes, t- just terribly lacks oversight. Uh, the attorney general said yesterday they failed to perform even the most basic functions of their fiduciary duty to the board. So in turn, he has installed 10 new members of the board, uh, despite some criticism that that might affect this year's parade, the board is confident saying that they will, there will be a parade on Fifth Avenue this year. Finally, Jeff, there was some criticism of the timing. The parade usually held, what, second Sunday in June. Yes. There are some who say the Attorney General's not left the new members time to get the parade together, correct? Right, right. And and those board members disagree. They come from the private sector. Uh, they're lawyers, bankers in the media industry. So they're saying that they have enough time. The Attorney General said he expedited this investigation. He did in eight months very quickly so that he could make sure that the parade could continue this year. Okay. Okay, that new board made up of some lawyers, some community activists. Uh, so it's been a very treasured part of the city's history, Absolutely. but it has come under scrutiny and criticism in recent years. Absolutely. Excellent, man. Come good back again. Let's know what's happening. All right, good. All right, we know about.